I'm not gonna lie, I was so scared because it's unsettling, it's, it's kind of like, it's so quiet and then you hear So Rick has decided to join me while I film and he's adamant is sitting by me Okay Ricky, Rick's in for the video today <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is really, really sunny today and it's like being really nice and warm so I had to put my off the shoulder tops on and um, because me from being Scotland <laughs> me from being Scotland <laughs> me from being from Scotland I burn really easily so and I get really warm really quickly too so <laughs> So I always had to put like like really summery clothes on probably before everybody else does here and Tim is trying to climb up too. I have all my dogs here. I think Ben, he's inside and Gus is inside. They're like literally right here. But anyway, so I know a lot of people have asked me, <laughs> I know a lot of people have asked me to chat a little bit more about some ghost stories and ghost things that's happened in this house. So I thought that seeing as it's a relaxing Thursday that I would just tell you guys a little bit more. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Okay, so where do I start? So as you guys know, I live in Marlon Monroe and Joe DiMaggio's honeymoon home. And what I mean by that is it was their house where they supposedly fell in love and their romance started and this is where they stayed together. So it wasn't just a place that they stayed for like a week or something after they got married it was somewhere that they actually stayed for a few years so i just wanted to clarify that because i know a lot of people have gotten confused about what i mean by honeymoon home and that's really what it's um said to be so anyway <laughs> so we've stayed here for about a year and a half now and it has been amazing and another reason um, why I stay here and a lot of people ask me that as well. So it's not just because it was Marilyn Monroe's house It's because we fell in love with this home outside of that as well It reminds me of my home back in Scotland just the view and I honestly couldn't resist it And Gus is drinking some water so if you hear some weird noise <laughs> The dogs are out in full swing today you guys they are loving the camera <laughs> Okay, so that's another reason why I stay here um, is because it feels like home and because I don't, I, because I'm not from here, um, it's nice to find somewhere where I feel home and I can make my home. So it's been nice to have that for really like the first time in four years. But there has been many occasions where we've had a lot of ghosty activity and I have spoken about it um, in a few videos, but I haven't really done any update in the last I would say few months so I thought that today um, seeing as a lot of you guys have been asking me I thought I'd give you a little update and tell you guys a little ghost story so the other day my husband and I were going to bed so we were just getting ready and I was just sitting in bed and so was he he came back into bed and we were just watching some TV, just watching some movies. I love to watch like old movies and things like that. Um, or some new ones or some Disney movies. <laughs> um, really whatever, uh, or maybe some YouTube videos and um, catch up on some other YouTubers and just things like that. Um, and basically it was maybe, I would say around, I would say around 12, 30, 1 a.m. My husband got up and he went to the bathroom and I was like in and out of sleep and I kind of like heard him come back and say to me were you singing and I was like me I was like okay so if I was singing like I feel sorry <laughs> for whoever hears me sing <laughs> and I was like no I wasn't singing I was like no and I was like half asleep so I was just I just fell straight back asleep and he didn't say anything and I was like please don't talk about it because I don't want to be scared <laughs> and he was just like I was so confused and in the morning, I would well in the morning he spoke to me about it, but I would see around 3 a.m. I heard singing too, and it was a female voice. It was coming from the bathroom. Okay, you guys, so here is the bathroom, and this is the one in the main bedroom, and it is so pretty because it's all original from when Marilyn Monroe did live here. And yeah, this is where we heard some of the noises. I was a bit confused. I knew then it definitely wasn't me singing in my sleep, so I was like, okay, that clarifies that. And I was so confused by what was kind of going on, and I wondered if it was the same singing that he had heard. So in the morning, I got up and he got up, and he said to me, okay, so I know you were half asleep last night, but I just wanted to ask, were you singing? And like when I was in the bathroom, like 1 a.m., I was like, 
no <laughs> it was not me and he explained to me what he heard so it was like someone kind of singing from like low to high as if they were like kind of humming a song kind of thing it wasn't like a full-blown like song that you could hear and you could understand what they were singing and i said to him well you know the funny thing is i heard the same thing i was here around 3 a.m and i checked outside and things like that like the night before there was no parties going on there was nothing and most time like our neighborhood's really quiet unless it's the weekends and then a lot of people have parties and you hear people like screaming outside and chatting and all the rest of it but this was during the week so there was nothing going on there was no music there was nothing like the whole night so for that to happen and then happen the same sound like the exact same sound because i explained it to him he explained it to me and there's no justification we have no idea where it came from and the weird thing is so yeah so there is a bathroom from the bed so you can definitely see that it's not that far it's definitely in the site is that bathroom um, in our room has a lot of activity in it i've experienced a few things myself i've actually heard singing from that bathroom before and I'm not gonna lie, I was so scared because it's unsettling, it's, it's kind of like, it's so quiet and then you hear like singing or a voice or something and it's really unsettling, it's really scary, it's, it's really really scary, I'm not gonna lie um, and it was just really bizarre and in the morning of course I went in, I checked and I went round and even at night time my husband went to check around the house and things like that um, so it was very, very unsettling <laughs> and it was weird and there's no explanation. We have no idea where it came from. We have no idea like what's happening, but we do know that in that bathroom, there seems to be a lot of activity. Now the room that we stay in is the room that Marla Monroe and Joe DiMaggio would have stayed in because it's the main bedroom and that was her bathroom. And I know from previous people that have been psychics or people that have just felt things and they've said that it feels heavily that there's a female energy in that bathroom. And it's very prominent, a very prominent female energy. The thing is, not many people stayed in this house. So this house was really just a rented place and only people would come in now and again. It was very secret for a lot of Hollywood stars where they would come and hide out. So who knows? <laughs> We've had a lot of experiences um, just at night times. We hear footsteps, as I said a few times. Every night we hear footsteps running up and down upstairs. Sometimes they can be a little bit louder than normal. Um, and sometimes it sounds as if people are like, kind of tiptoeing <laughs> up the staircase and into the living room. It is really, really bizarre. Um, so it's very something different. It's, it feels different. Um, but I'm not going to say, like, I know a lot of people have said to me, well, if it's haunted, why do you stay there? And to be honest with you, it doesn't feel bad. It, like, the house is so warm feeling. It feels really nice. And I feel at home here. So for me, that is really one of the reasons why I still live here. <laughs> um, I love this home. And also, I grew up in a haunted house when I was little and I'm kind of used to just hearing really weird noises during the night and things like that. And most of the time I'm up working till, I don't know, early hours in the morning anyway. But it's definitely something that I'm not worried about. Like I'm not scared about it. I find it kind of, it's kind of weird because um, my husband and I always sit there and we go like and just talk about it it was like it's just so weird that those things just happen it just happens it happens like all the time maybe not the singing happens all the time but the footsteps happen every single day and we have no idea like what is going on <laughs> I know a few people have asked us to cleanse the house and things like that and we have looked into it but it doesn't feel bad um, so we haven't done anything with it yet but possibly in the future, um, my husband and I would consider doing something like that. But I don't know, it doesn't feel bad, it doesn't feel evil, it doesn't feel like it's disrupting us in any way. So for us, um, we're not really that bothered by it. Um, and we're kind of, it sounds really bizarre, but we're really, really used to it now. Um, but it still is scary sometimes when you hear stuff like that, like singing or talking and things. Um, it is a little unsaid. Like sometimes you're like, I wonder what they're saying, you know, like as if you could like really understand the conversation, but I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so that is the recent ghost story that I wanted to share with you all. I will be hopefully doing this a little bit more often so I can keep like 
so I can catch you guys up with what's been going on and some more ghost stories because I don't want to give you all of it at one time because then I'm spoiling it, you know, I should keep it for you guys um, and just tell you guys every so often so maybe we can make this like a series where I do like ghost stories and I tell you guys about things that's happened in the house and things like that because that would be fun <laughs> just to tell you guys and um, keep you guys in the loop so I just want to say thank you all so so much for watching I hope you have an amazing Thursday and I will be posting a new video coming up this weekend so I'm so excited for you guys to see it because it is something that is really really cool and I'm so honored to have <laughs> I'm so honored to be able to experience what I've experienced and I'm excited to share it all with you guys so stay tuned for that and I want to see if you like this video please um, don't forget to give it a like and a comment and subscribe and I'll see you all either on my TikTok my Instagram and back on here in the weekend speak to y'all soon bye